A little while ago, I issued a sticky challenge to you, the community here that follows me on YouTube, to use position sticky in fun and creative ways. And it's a little bit late, but finally, we are here to see your submissions. So first off, I just want to apologize for this being late. Um, I know I issued the challenge a while ago. I've just been really busy. I recorded it all, but I hadn't had a chance to edit it. But here we are. Finally, we're here. If you missed the sticky challenge, it was from a video where I looked at position sticky and I explored position sticky and how it worked. And then I asked you guys to come up with fun and creative ways to use it because it's one of those things that you can just do really cool and fun stuff with that's sometimes unexpected. And you're going to see some really, really cool and fun examples in this of just awesome stuff you can actually do with it. So just thank you so much to all of you for participating in this challenge. Really, really awesome stuff that you guys did. Really, really cool and fun. Uh, and another exploration into Sticky, which is always cool. Give you, every, I think everybody watching this is gonna get some fun ideas on how they may be able to use it and implement it in their site. So what are we still here waiting for? Let's go and check those out. All right, so first up, we have a submission by Rashik, and I'm just saying Rashik because I'm really worried about butchering your last name. Let's just try this, uh, Rashik Karmachara. Karmachara. Uh, so thank you so much for the submission, uh, Rashik. Really cool because it's nice seeing things that aren't just like I was happy to see this because you know it's sort of a site, and but in this site we have this nice little sticky thing, and the cool thing with it, so you can see it's sticking into place, and you might go, oh, it's. You know, it's, it's sort of cool, but then if I go to itinerary, it switches to the itinerary. So it's like, it's not only is it sticky, but it's sort of this little a tab system that's also. So a nice, a nice use of sticky in a really cool sense, actually, just because we're not, we don't have to scroll back up to get to the other content. Because one problem with tabs that you can run into is this thing where like someone scrolls past, they don't scroll back up to switch tabs. So um, it's always a little bit worrisome when you're using tabs that some people won't always click and actually like see what's in the other tabs. So the fact that here we can actually click and go through the other tabs and it stays with us so we can, oh, uh, let's go check the itinerary actually. Like that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I think it's a really nice usability, like nice UX little thing there. So if you're gonna use uh, a tab system like that, it, it works really well. I think Sticky is a really good use case for that. So thank you so much for submitting that, Rashik. Really, really cool, really fun. Uh, next up, we have this by Brian Kane. So um, a little bit similar, actually. Right now, it's it's an, actually an accordion. So it uh, when I first got here, actually, I was like, oh. Um, so if I click, I, I was like, there's nothing to scroll. But when you go on these, oh, wait, there is a lot to scroll. <laughs> And when we start popping a lot of these open, um, now you can see where when you get to the next section, and once again for usability, this is like an ideal use case for um, for sticky because you can keep track of what section you're in as you're scrolling through this massive database of stuff. Um, and while wow, Bob is a very good client, <laughs> um, but you get the idea that um, it, it can it, it helps organize our content like that. And once again, sort of like the tabs there that um, on, you might not think of it because it's an accordion. So like you have this accordion style thing. So like, why would you need position sticky? But it, it really does fall into like a nice little use case to stay op organized because maybe you have a whole bunch of the accordions open. Um, so if there's a lot of content sticky, just helps us stay organized. So thank you so much for that, Brian. Uh, a nice little thing. One thing I would actually suggest, just a really quick usability thing, because when I first got here, I literally thought there was nothing. Um, so just if you have stuff like that, let's go and check, do a little inspect, because they're just, with tables even, um, which props to you, I hate tables. Uh, <laughs> let's, on sales calls, where's my sales calls? So class section header name. So let's do section header name. I would add in a cursor pointer just to sort of indicate that we have interactivity. So if we're on top of those, we can tell that we can actually click on it. So it just adds a little bit. It, it gives us that cue that there's some interactivity in there. And even that's just going to do it if I'm on there. So maybe even like a section, he section header, you could do the same thing. So if we click, oh no, we have to click on that anyway. So um, you can you know, add that just to let us know that it is clickable or a hover effect or something just to make it a bit more evident uh, that you can actually come and click on those. But for the stickiness, really, really awesome. Um, these next two are by Adrian Dona. 
Um, so thank you so much, Adrian. Uh, so here we have scroll down. So let's start scrolling down and see what happens. And well, that's interesting. And dook, 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 dook. look at that. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? That was cool. Um, this image sort of clicking into place like that. Like that's, I don't know. I like that. <laughs> it's one of those things you can just keep playing with. So um, not really a usability thing, just like a flashy thing. Plus with the background gradient on there, it helps to just give it a little like thing going on while you're doing it a little bonus um really really fun <laughs> i could do that all day long literally so cool um actually I, i'm just gonna go look in how this was done because <laughs> uh we have a whole bunch of divs are they just background images oh it's with a grid it is with a grid too bonus points <laughs> um oh cool it's all the same image but the background position has been moved around to actually get it to work. Ah, that's awesome. So we have the same image that's just loading across, but just to make sure they're lining up in the right spot using background position to like line everything up. Super slick. I love that. Really, really cool. I'm going to have to try that on something one day. Um, so this one also is by Adrian. This one is the same idea that we can have like different pieces broken apart, but with text this time. So have some like isn't that fun <laughs> so like there we have that then the o sticks around so have some love and then the l doesn't stop so we mo whoops i keep moving my mouse the wrong way so we have uh lo have some love move your soul uh, i don't know it's really cool so sort of like the storytelling thing i was doing like this is where Whereas the first two are like purely on like a usability and like here's like UX improvements. This is just fun. <laughs> These ones by Adrian are just cool. So some fun stuff you can do there. This one's not too complicated, um, but really, really cool and fun. So that I liked a lot. And last but very much not least, we have this one by um, Adricum. So Adricum, uh, one thing I really like is this little two bottom. But we're going to do it slowly at first. So here we can see like it clicks and oh i'm going to read that and then we sort of click in and go back and forth so a nice little fun um thing there but i bonus points definitely for the two bottoms so we can just like super quickly go up and down um actually when i tested this last time it didn't seem to go that fast so maybe if that was a little slower be cool um because definitely it was clicking it was a little smoother <laughs> when i tested it uh last time we have a nice little a lot of people putting gradients in the background just because it helps give the feeling of scrolling and, and change um so something like that is really fun and really cool um you know and it's this the idea you could lock text in place and have other stuff scrolling by it just the whole storytelling and conveying sort of a story or conveying different stuff and interacting in ways the user might not expect is really cool um, but it's not expect in a way that like same a little bit with this is like the site's working in a way that the user doesn't expect but it's not in a way that's unnatural they're not confused by it they're sort of intrigued by it so it leads to like this interesting experience but they're still just scrolling down so it's there's not like some scroll weird scroll jacking going on where they're they scroll a little bit and it's flying off or things are going left and right instead of up and down even though they're scrolling so like they're keeping the behavior they want so like position sticky is really really cool with that so even if you didn't take part in this challenge go and create something with sticky honestly you're going to be happy you did it's a really fun and awesome thing to play with there's so many different use cases as you can see through just these five submissions here that was fun wasn't it some really cool and fun examples there of how you might be able to use some of this so if you saw any of these that you're going like wow i i I'd love to know, or you missed out on the challenge and you want to get something else in, or you want to experiment with it, and it's just you're throwing something together, by all means, hit me up on social media and let me know about it. One quick thing, though, I'm, if you did submit something and I didn't include it, I'm really sorry. I made a bit of a mistake um, in saying submit it however you want. So I got some emails. I got people messaging me on the community. I had people DMing me on Twitter. I had people mentioning it on Twitter. Next time I do something like this, I'm doing, we're, there's one way to submit because I might have lost some, I hope I got everything. I think I looked in all the channels where I was getting people submitting stuff. Um, but if I missed one, I really, really, really am sorry. Um, but if we're, yeah, that's, but if you hit me up on social media, you know, hashtag it and mention me and I'll gladly take a look at it and give you some feedback on it if that's something you're after. I hope you liked these. I hope you got some ideas from them. This is all from, 
community members just like you. So next time I issue a challenge, please don't be shy. Come up with something, anything. Push yourself because it's always fun to do. If you'd like to see more challenges like this, please let me know in the description below. Say this is really cool. If you have an idea for a challenge, by all means, go for it. Give me ideas for this stuff because I'd love to push and get more. Sh I want to showcase more of what you are all up to because I have all you guys saying like following me and commenting. If you have stuff you want to, you know, if you have awesome stuff, I want to showcase that. So if you have ideas for challenges, because I think that's a fun way to uh, showcase some of the stuff that you guys are up to, please let me know and I'd gladly make challenges around those ideas. Thank you very much for watching. This was a lot of fun. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit thumbs up or leave a comment down below to let me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons for helping support everything I do here on this channel. A big shout out to Lauren, who is my supporter of Awesome. Thank you very much for your generous contribution. Did you know I have a newsletter? Because a lot of people don't know I have a newsletter, apparently. <laughs> um, I use that community tab thing here we have on YouTube to ask if people knew I had a newsletter, and all of a sudden a rush of people subscribed because they'd never heard about it. I've just been linking to them in the description, but it's like way hidden down. So um, if you want to, it's kevinpowell.co forward slash newsletter, or if you click that show more in the description, scroll down, there'll be a link for it there. I write articles every week and send them out via newsletter so you never miss one. So if that sounds really cool, it's mostly CSS stuff, some HTML mixed in there. Usually they're short, you know, the videos are long. I want to make short articles that are about weird, quirky things I come across or cool things that don't have enough content for a whole video, stuff like that. And every now and then there is a longer article as well. So please come and check that out. If that sounds interesting to you, you can just go down to the bottom and find the link for that. Or again, it's kevinpowell.co forward slash newsletter. One last time, thank you so much for watching and supporting everything I do here through your engagement and just through being awesome. And speaking of awesome, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.